everybody, Matt Bell with Electric Violin Shop. Today we're going to be doing a review of violins that are under a thousand dollars. We've got some packages that come with these where you can get the violin and depending on which violin it is, some of them come with case and a bow and we'll talk about that. Uh, but you can get a violin, a case, a bow, an amp, and uh, maybe like an effects unit. We'll sort of put a package together and put a discount uh, on that to sort of help you out. We will start with the newest product, um, and we are super excited about this. We really, really like this violin. The Yamaha YEV, we talk about this all the time. These things are selling like crazy. Um, they come in four string and five string. They come in this natural color. Um, you can see just beautiful wood graining on these. Um, and then they also will, some of them you can get in black, and that's, they paint this whole center section black. Um, these are passive violins, uh, unlike the, um, the Yamaha SV series that have uh, batteries and are active. These are passive violins. They don't have the, uh, the headphone jack on board. It's just, it's like a, you know, it's an instrument. You plug it in and, uh, and you're good to go. This won all kinds of awards at the NAMM show. They're, they're really wonderful. They brought us the prototype uh, before they released these, and we got a chance to, to play with it. Um, and it was, you know, several months before it was released. We were absolutely blown away, and we said, you know, what was the price you were wanting to sell these again? Fifteen hundred and what? And they said, no, man, five five ninety five. Um, so this thing has really taken a uh, a, a very very aggressive swing at that under a thousand dollar market. Um, just beautiful where they've taken the wood and bent it. They use the same technology to bend this wood that they do for Yamaha drum shells, and of course Yamaha has been making instruments forever that you know they know what they're doing okay I really like this violin it plays fantastic it just sounds and feels really really good um, so here we go I'm just gonna play this a little bit for you clean great sounding instrument it feels great it sounds great they're super super lightweight for those of you who are out there who are uh, concerned about how much a violin weighs I don't know how many ounces or, or anything like that but when you pick this up it's super light probably the the um, shoulder rest is probably the most it's the heaviest thing on the violin okay these are super super lightweight as you can see there's nothing to them um, love these violins it doesn't come with a bow doesn't come with a case um, so you will have to buy those separately um, this is the SV-130. Hopefully you guys are really familiar with this. Um, this is a, a, a well-known, everybody has, has seen the Yamaha violin. Um, you know, certainly uh, not a new look for people, but, you know, we'll give you a close-up. Okay, this one is the Pearl White. These are actually a special order. Um, normally the colors available, red, blue, brown, and black. They only come in a four-string. Uh, but there are some super, super cool features with this. With the SV-130, this is an active violin. You can see, um, I've actually got the wireless here. You can see that there's a, a battery compartment here, and then there's sort of this control panel on the back. So it's got off, on, and on with reverb. Um, and then you've got a couple of different reverbs that you can pick. There's a room, and there's two halls. Uh, you got your volume knob on the back, and then there's your quarter-inch output, and then there are two, I think you can see them here maybe, right? Two eighth inch jacks. One of those is a headphone jack because it's got an onboard headphone amp. And the other one is an aux in. Uh, if you've got some, some background tracks that you like to play along with, you like to you know some, do some of that stuff with on your phone or whatever, you plug your phone into the aux in and you can separately control that level right here. And then you put your headphones on, you can play along. There are a ton of really cool apps that have backing tracks for uh, Suzuki uh, pieces or whatever you want. Um, yeah, super nice violin. I'm plugged into a G10 right now. We actually don't recommend that for this violin for the reason that you're gonna hear. I turn this on, I don't know if you're hearing this. There's like a, uh, there's sort of a little buzz coming out of the amp right now. I'm willing to live with it because it makes the video just a little easier with a wireless. Um, but you're probably not going to want to use the G10 wireless with the Yamaha Active Violin, okay? 
Um, but in any case, you can hear what the violin sounds like. We'll just uh, do this. So that's the Yamaha SV-130. Uh, does not come with a bow, does not come with a case. Same deal as the, uh, as the YEV. This is the NS Design Wave. Super, super cool looking instrument. Um, I don't know if you guys remember the old uh, Steinberger headless basses and guitars. Were really famous in the 80s. Um, made by Ned Steinberger. This is Ned's company. Um, if you guys... Um, are on social media you can do hashtag think ns and find a ton a ton of different stuff they make violins violas cellos basses because it's a crazy shape like this it does come with a case because you can't obviously just throw it into a regular violin case um does not come with a bow but it does come with a case um they've got these tuners down here obviously you don't have a headstock so what happens is the ball into your string goes in here point that toward the light so you can see and then threads through, and then uh, it's got these 40 to 1 gear tuners down here. You see your, your after length, your string comes out down here. Um, it's got this uh, contraption here, the, your shoulder rest. This is adjustable, so you can, you can turn this whole thing, whatever angle you think you need. You can adjust the height right here. This adjusts up and down. Um, and then it also adjusts on here. You can slide it in or out to really get a super customized feel from this. And then this piece here is malleable, it bends. So you can bend this and get, you know, you just saw me bend that there. So you can, you can really customize this to the way your shoulder feels, okay? Change the angle on this thing. There's just, there's so many adjustments on this that you can make and it's gonna, it's, if you monkey with this long enough, you should be able to get a, a really comfortable feel for you. These do sound significantly darker than the, um, than the Yamahas do. And again, that's a personal preference thing. Some people like the darker, some people like the brighter. Really nice sounding instrument. Um, it's super easy to adjust the action on these. Um, in the back, there are a couple of holes right here, and you can get a, a screwdriver in there, and you can raise and lower this bridge. The pickup is actually underneath the bridge, down inside the instrument, uh, and you can raise and lower this bridge. Uh, you want to be sort of smart about that. You want to get it on one side and crank it up like four turns, and then the other side try to go because it's going to twist and it's going to get bound up so you got to be a little bit smart about how you do that um you know, these are still precision instruments and, and we got to treat them uh like that or they're gonna maybe not treat us so nice but it has a volume knob and a tone knob on it uh fantastic instrument for the price really really pretty too i don't know if you can see the graining on this but the uh it's, it's a wood grain so the colors are, are what they call a transparent color so there's a transparent red amber uh black so that's the wave violin, and then the fourth violin is a is a wood violin's uh, Stingray. It's the Stingray SVX, and it's pretty easy to see why they call it a Stingray. Uh, these come in a red metallic or a black metallic. Really, really cool, pretty paint jobs. These are extremely uh, unique sounding instruments. They have a, a sound that's very different from uh, any of the other violins in this price range. Um, kind of cool looking pegs on this one too, right? This is the True Tone pickup. Um, super clear, crisp sound. Um, and then this violin has almost sort of a a shimmer sound to it that's just, it comes straight out of the box with that sound. Um, you know, you hear a lot of people trying to buy these um, these shimmer reverbs and all that kind of stuff. This one is just, this is just what it sounds like. <laughs>
you can sort of hear that shimmer sound right there. These come in a five string or a four string, uh, and they come with a bow and a case. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, we'll say it's an economical bow, but it, they do come with a bow and a case. Yeah, so that's that's the the, the skinny on these violins. Now, um, there are a couple other things I sort of want to talk about. We do occasionally get some people who will email and say, you know, what do I do if I have a three hundred dollar budget? I can't afford even the YEV. If that's where you've got budget wise, I would recommend a pickup and an amp um, rather than saying you know hey I'm gonna go buy a $200 electric violin I mean you can if you want but uh, don't be mad at me if you do okay <laughs> you know we also get the question today we're talking about prices on these violins these are in the um, six to eight hundred dollar price range you know we've got violins that cost a lot more is a three thousand dollar violin does it sound three t times better than a thousand dollar violin no no, they don't. They don't sound three times better. And it's, and it's like that um, really with any sort of, um, well, sort of purchase like this. Um, there's a point of diminishing returns where, you know, when I, I spend $1,000 and I get something, if I spend 2000 do I get twice as much? You don't, but you get more. Okay, a $2,000 violin is going to sound and feel and play better than a $1,000 violin. It won't be twice as much, but it's maybe 20%, 25%. And the question is, how badly do you need that 25%? Um, you know, if you're playing 100, 200, 300 shows a year, and it's in a it's in a high dollar environment where you're playing through big money PA, big money shows. You know, there's you know there's the stuff's being broadcast. You look out, and there's cell phone cameras everywhere you look. Um, is it worth it to to sort of bump up to that two, three, four thousand dollar violin? Yeah, you know, it probably is if that's how you're making your living. I honestly think that any one of these violins could could be played on a professional stage. These are all these are all excellent violins that sound great. Can you get a better sounding violin for three thousand dollars? Well, you certainly hope so. Um, but but you know to say that a three thousand dollar violin is going to sound three times better than one of these violins, it's just it's not it's not like that. Okay, so it, it's all about trying to buy that that next little increment of improvement. Anyway, that is our review of under $1,000 instruments. For a quick, uh, a quick recap, the Yamaha YEV comes in four string and five, natural and black, does not come with a case, does not come with a bow, okay? The Yamaha SV-130, they come in red, blue, brown, and black. Um, they're active violins. They have the, the built-in preamp and the pass-through, so you can listen to your um, MP3s. Uh, also, do not come with a bow. Do not come with a case. And then we've got the NS Design Wave Violin, and these come in amber, transparent red, transparent black, come in four-string and five-string. Do come with a case. Do not come with a bow. And then the last one we talked about is the um, is the Wood Stingray SVX, uh, Mark Woods Company. These come in a four string and a five string. They do come with a bow. They do come with a case. If you guys have questions, as always, feel free to hit us up in the comments section here. Uh, I know that we've put up a link to where these violins are. Um, you can hit us up, info at electricviolinshop.com. You can call us at the shop. Electricviolinshop.com is our website. And, uh, and we're always happy to answer any questions you guys have. Thank you guys for hanging out. We'll see you next time.